she's a Ghanaian, she says. So today we are going to test her. The money is coming what? to me. Yeah. Oh, my conversation. <laughs> oh, who's bringing that dollar? Yeah. At the same time, what does it mean? Chemistry. <laughs> No, 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 some kind of chemistry or the twins. Hey. No, like <laughs> all of you guys watching this, yeah. Those who have washed the underwears for your woman, okay. Have you gone to me, Jimmy? Please answer this question for. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest here. She's called Yayura Rose. She's also a YouTuber. She's a Ghanaian. She says so. Today we are going to test her. <laughs> Like <laughs> Ghanaian's what <laughs> authenticity or something? Yeah, I'm just going to ask her um, some questions about Ghanaian superstitions, and then we'll know if she really knows her Ghanaian history. You know, so I'm going to ask her the question, and then she will tell me what they say in the superstition world. You know, like when they say, example, when they say don't sleep at night, what does it mean? not in the actual sense but in the superstition world she's going to answer that and then we'll just see if you know she understands the Ghanaian <laughs> culture so Yajura welcome to my channel thank you are you ready for the quiz to be honest no but <laughs> I'm excited I want to know more so yeah okay so first of all what do you know about superstitions there's a, there's a lot I actually don't know. I've heard okay. a few statements like here and there, but like what what it actually means, I don't. I don't you don't really know, know what it means. No. Well, first of all, we are going to define what superstition is according to Google. You know, I don't want to use my brain. Maybe I'm not correct. So Google says a superstition is any belief or practice considered by non-practitioners to be irrational or supernatural attributed to facts or or magic yeah so it's just like a belief it's of a, it's people a make -believe, isn't yeah, it? yeah it's a make-believe kind of thing well so let's start with the first question yeah you are rose <laughs> <laughs> according to the Ghanaian superstition what does it mean when they say don't sleep your room at night <laughs> you should know I don't know okay I don't know right but what I've heard is that if you sweep your room at night for me I feel like you are inviting ghosts or something ghosts yeah okay I don't know well, that's that's correct according to the Ghanaian superstition they say when you sweep your room at night you are inviting ghosts but the actual meaning is because they believe that it's a nice you're probably not seeing well you may sweep away some you know important things you know documents or jewelries or right. anything like okay. that but they don't really tell you the facts because you know as Ghanaians you still and, do it anyway. you still do it anyway <laughs> so they have to come up with something that will yeah. scare you so okay. yeah yeah you have got one so the second question I'm going to ask you is according to the Ghanaian superstition what does it mean when your palm is itching? You should know that. Okay. I don't know if this is the Ghanaian one or not. Okay. But from what I've heard before, it means money is coming. Like, okay. Yes. yes. Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo, that's, oh, the money is coming my, to me. Yeah. Wow, my palm is itching. Whoa, who's bringing that dollar? Yeah. <laughs> that one million dollars. So that's correct. Um, I don't know if that's really true also. Yeah. But I think that's like a worldwide. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah it's not it only is. related to Ghanaians. It's like a worldwide belief. So, well, we don't really know yeah. the actual. I don't really know the, the, the real meaning. <laughs> yeah, of, that. of an itchy palm. Yeah, but yeah, but I've heard that one many times. Yeah. yeah, I would believe that anything. I mean, there are times money. when I'll be there, my palm is itchy. I'm like, sika, where's <laughs> <What's> my money? <laughs> All right, third question. According to the Ghanaian superstition, when two people say the same thing at the same time, what does it mean? Does it mean, yeah, there's chemistry. <laughs> no, 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 there's some kind of chemistry and they're thinking at the same time. <laughs> chemistry about what? I don't know, they have a chemistry between, or they're twins. Hey. No. Like, <laughs> If me and you sitting here, 
we say like drink at the same time. time. You're not twins. It happens a lot to me, but I'm like, I don't know. Is there some kind of chemistry? I look at it as chemistry. I don't know. No. It okay. means that somebody's gossiping about you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've heard that one before, to be honest. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that's so, what, uh, yeah. Okay. People be like, mm, somebody's gossiping yeah. about me. Either me or us at the same time, or yeah. any one of us. I've heard or the yeah. two of us at yeah. the same yeah. time. Okay. So, that's the belief. Yeah, I always thought it was chemistry. Why did I think it was chemistry? <laughs> I don't yeah, know. So but I'm just guessing but, it's probably just coincidence. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, as you said, it's, it's not probably chemistry, but you are probably thinking that. Of the same thing yeah, at the same, at the same time. time. Yeah. But then Ghanaians say she will say that somebody is gossiping about you. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the next question. Let's see how yeah you are. So fast, I mean so one far, out of got, got one two. two, okay, yeah. yeah, that's correct. Two out of three. Guys yeah. help me so. out. <laughs> next one. I think that's the fourth question. According to the Ghanaian superstition, we do not sing whilst we are bathing. Why? What will happen to you when you sing whilst you are bathing? Does it mean you are calling the gods or what? Which gods? The gods of your Lord? Maybe you're calling the gods or. Yeah, if you are singing, you are calling people to. The ghost wow okay uh huh oh, it, yeah, yeah it's it's close yeah Wait, what, which one what it's the it? same thing it's uh you're inviting ghosts yeah to to come back with you yes <laughs> <laughs> but I have the actual singing, you have though. to stop singing <laughs> I never knew but but the actual science behind that is that you know whilst you're singing you may get some soap into your mouth. No, and the chemicals is not really good for you but you know our parents just had this yeah yes way scary. of you know scaring people off because the african child as i said you have to make it scary otherwise yeah. they are not listening so what if so, you sing during the day like in the morning or afternoon once you're bathing it's the same thing because if you're bathing you have soap all over uh, so when you sing the soap may enter your mouth and you may swallow it and all these complications okay. so it's just to scare you off yeah. you know, just back quickly and then yeah. and then come out and then they also say that you don't bath at night this is a bonus one i'm just giving you because it's relating yeah. to the bath you don't bath at night and it's the same concept you've been inviting you know ghosts, ghosts and but it's as a lady but it's just because as a lady bathing at night is probably not safe mm. you know olden days they didn't have like this self-contained mm. you have to go probably out of yeah you know where you sleep That's to go and true. bath yeah. you the know compound. so as a compound yeah. you go outside the compound so as a lady a female going out maybe around seven eight you can be attacked mm -hmm. you know you can be raped Anything and all that be, yeah. yeah and then nobody will see you because it's at night that's right you know so it's just it was just a way to protect yeah. the women but so they they actually to bath early in the morning and you don't bath after 6 p.m that's right okay yeah. so that's Good just a bonus know. one for yadra so as a Ghanaian woman do not bath after six <laughs> I will say it. <laughs> You'll be inviting I, ghosts. I know, I do, but hey, Charlie. Yeah, okay. You'll be inviting stop. ghosts into your home. <laughs> Putting you on the spot. Okay. What will happen to a man when he washes a woman's underwear? According to the Ghanaian superstition. What will happen to him? Something will happen to a man, yes. When, <laughs> when he washes a woman's underwear. Okay, <laughs> that one, that one. I always thought it was. All I know is that it was wrong for a, a man to do that. Okay. But superstition wise. Superstition wise, they say a man will be stupid. Okay, like you. So go mad. yeah, yeah, you like uh, in Ghana, like in the local dialects, they will say obey Jimmy Jimmy. Mm -hmm. You know. So you guys, you guys, okay, let me ask this question. All of you guys watching this, yeah? Those who have washed their underwears for your women, okay? 
Have you gone to me, Jimmy? Please answer this question for us. <laughs> yeah, we'll say, is it true, Anna? Mm. But I think because back then, you know, it was seen as yeah maybe like disrespectful for a man to yeah. you know do all those things because I think they back then the they expected rules. women to do yeah yeah, yeah. They had the gender rules so you cannot like cross into somebody's way especially with underwears. Wow. Even now, I think people still look down on yeah. a man who would you know wash. Yeah. I think yeah. still people would think. He's stupid. Yeah. So, you know, wash a I mean, woman's yeah. underwear. There was a debate one time. A guy was saying, or somebody was saying, why a guy would wash the girlfriend's underwear. Underwear. But, yeah. Yeah. I think it depends on the individual. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's what we have for you. We are not done yet. We're taking a break. You know, to enjoy some cocktail. <laughs> You guys are invited. <laughs> we'll see you in a Sorry. bit. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the discussion or the questions, the quiz. So, yeah, you're at the next question is what will happen to you when you whistle at night? According to the Ghanaian superstition. For me, whistling, you're also calling the ghost in the, in the god, so. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you're now, calling, now you're you're whistling, coming around. Yeah, you're, you're inviting something. evil, yeah. evil spirits. Yeah, you know, uh -huh. mm. that's it. that's according to the superstition. You're inviting evil spirit. But what it actually means, I think, is uh, like a is a, like a security kind of issue because if you're walking alone at night and you're whistling, oh, yeah. that people can actually track, you know, your exactly, movements. The they know that yeah. oh, okay, there's somebody walking here. Yeah. You know, because back in the days it was all bushy, it That's wasn't right. as developed as mm. what we have now. So you probably have to walk a long distance back yeah. to your village yeah. and you're walking alone mm. and you're whistling. Exactly. So if you have anybody in the bush, mm. then you know that oh there's somebody on this route that so they can sense. attack yeah. they can attack you. So they'll just say, Don't whistle at night, you know, you're going to invite yeah. mommy water into your hey. home and all that. Mm. <laughs> That oh gosh, the Ghanaian <laughs> culture, mm. full of evil spirits. Yeah, and everything all this. is evil spirits. I know, and, right? Yeah. So, what superstition do you know? Yeah, yeah. Tell me one mm. that okay. you know as a Ghanaian, because you should know. I think there was one that we covered already. Um, the, yeah, the one about the Uchi. I think and, that's a, a global. Yeah, that's, that's a, a global, global one. Thing. If you don't know, you are not leaving my channel. Oh. <laughs> so we'll give Yaya some time yeah. to think about one superstition that he, she knows and then she'll come back and tell her. So the next question for Yadra Rose is what happens, according to the Ghanaian superstition, what happens to a person who baths warm water? Okay, this one I know that when you bath with warm water, it shrivels your skin, like it makes you look old quicker quicker meanwhile cold water makes you look younger okay but for me i like very hot water <laughs> <laughs> i like to oh, bath I'm not a you, have, you have to be banned from ghana yeah. i like to bath with very hot water even the scorching <laughs> heat like this is you still, hot but i have you to still have, bath yeah. hot water okay if i'm bathing cold water i'm to see you <laughs> i'm screaming <laughs> everywhere Charlie. i only bath hot water when it's really cold yeah but on the average i just go with my i need to get used water. to that so that was correct when you bath warm water you age faster yeah. that's what they say it, it draws your nutrients out <laughs> okay the last but not the least i think you've done like eight questions eight, yeah. yeah would be um what does it mean when a person walks into a spider web this one i don't know this one. <laughs> Straight to yeah, the point. Like, this, this one, one I, don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I think this this happens now. It's not even back then. Still it happens. It's seen as like an evil attack. Oh. You know, like when you're working, especially at a place where you think there shouldn't be spider web yeah. like here. Yeah. And then you just walk, walk into, into a right. spider web. It's like, oh my god, there's an evil attack. Yeah. Somebody's plotting something, something evil against you wow. and you need to go see your pastor and all that. I really don't know why there's so much and I don't know the actual signs 
I mean, spiders are everywhere, I guess. Exactly. So they can make their web anywhere and everywhere. So I don't think it's it's a big deal. But it is for people who are very superstitious, spiritual, yeah. and all these religious people. So yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, that's about it for teaching Yaira words a couple of Ghanaian superstitions. <laughs> I learned a few things, guys. I hope yeah. you did too. So yeah, I hope you did too. Now that you know, back to telling us what superstition you know. Yeah something came to mind okay okay so somebody told me like if you're working in the night like very late in the night you shouldn't work very late in the night especially from one o'clock two o'clock onwards mm -hmm. because you see somebody in white <laughs> <laughs> you can see somebody on the road carrying a coffin or something oh yeah I don't know that's what that true. means that's true i don't that's know what true. that means well but I, did, I asked and then the person said They'll carry you. <laughs> They'll carry, carry you together inside. with a coffee. Yeah, to go and get money or something. I don't know. Is that superstition or what? I okay, don't know. okay. Well, that's not Maybe really. It's not. Yeah. That's uh, that used to be those who do the juju. Yeah. The because of the sakawa yeah. people and stuff like that. Yeah. Especially with but, the money rituals. Yeah. Just say the money rituals. Most of the time, they do the rituals at dawn. Yeah. After twelve so, and all that, anything so, could be going on yeah, around that time. So please exactly. for that, <laughs> much really too much. Stay home. <laughs> so yeah, no, so, but people, people were saying stories like that. You know, they'll be driving, they'll see somebody carrying this thing yeah. or walking with their white, white dress. Yeah, you know, those countries just mm. full of stuff. You know, yeah. <laughs> doesn't make like, sense necessarily. Yeah, so. yeah. So me, I just. I just go with the flow, you know, pick the ones that I think, I mean, are relevant. Yeah. And then the other ones, I just let it flow. Yeah. But like the itchy palm, that's me. Yeah. I grab that, like the moment <laughs> my palms are, I'm no like, money, money like, you know? <laughs> yeah. We have to grab it. Grab it, monitor. Grab exactly. It. <laughs> and then personally, I have my own, it's funny, <laughs> but I have my own superstition. Okay. I never throw money away. Okay. Like, even if like the coin is rusted, mm. the paper is torn, I never throw money away. You still away. use it. Like, even if I can't use it, I will mm. keep it. I okay. have, I have the. I don't know how I came about that. I just have the belief that when I throw money away, mm. like I'm throwing my money yeah. away, and it's going to take away from me. Yeah, it will come back. Yeah. yeah. So I never like the. That's a good five one. Yeah. Pesua one mm. people i have a friend she goes to shop right they'll give it and then she'll just do it because she's not going to use it yeah you know the, i know some people bronze. put it all together they save it and then they take yeah. it to the bank and then sometimes like even fake money i can't mm. if i have fake money people would just well, create holes and mm. throw it away or i don't know i just cannot throw you any kind keep, of yeah, money away yeah. i have some one CD torn, you know, you yeah. watch it like you can't use it. I but I can't, tape I, can't, I can't throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> I try you know? to tape and see if they will accept it, but no, it's like it's done. Really, you, really can't, you can't, mm -hmm. you can't. I don't know if the banks will accept it, or even like the coins. I have a lot of the coins that are yeah. uh, rusted, yeah. like extremely. You can't use yeah. it, but I cannot I, throw it away. Yeah, I don't know about Ghana though, but from say abroad for example if you have old coins old or coins. if you have a note that is ripped or yeah. usable you can, take it back. you can take it to the bank and then they can exchange okay. it okay maybe i have to try yeah. that so we have to so, find out that's me my money i take it very serious anything yeah. about money yeah <laughs> i take it very serious yeah and then the last one i would like to ask you that's a bonus one um <laughs> <laughs> this one's funny guys and it's a little bit rude so a little a little caution here okay no it's not the one that you're thinking oh it's not, it's not no like, it's oh, not that okay, one okay, okay. <laughs> the other one would be good actually but those naughty of you you guys some of you are naughty yeah. okay so they say that okay then let me say that one they say that if you sit on the fufu mortar those of you who don't know the fufu mortar is what we pound the fufu inside like the wooden bowl that 
the pound of food inside. When you sit on it, as a man, you wake up. Mutio. Mutio. <laughs> you wake up with no erection. <laughs> <laughs> guys, is it true? Have you guys tried? Oh, someone go and try. Let's see. <laughs> That's your homework. Go and try and then come back and come For the rest of your life, you will never have erection again. Me, I don't know how true that is. So, one of you guys, <laughs> our subscribers, can go and try experiment. it. Experiment. Experiment. And, and come drop and your tell. comments in the <laughs> below description. Yeah, we want to hear what you think. And come and tell us what happened to you <laughs> after. <laughs> After sitting on the fufu How monster, does it make you feel? Yeah, did you have like tingle or yeah? Did you cut through on? Yeah, please let us know. I would really, I wish I had, you know, like that. I would have done it, but I don't have it. Okay, and then another one is that um, I don't know what that means actually. Is when you wash your face with water from the mortar. So after pounding the fufu, you put water inside. You keep it the next morning overnight and you wash your face with that water that doesn't make you would sense see, yeah, yeah. i don't know why somebody would do that but they say that if you want to see oh you know spirits and all these things yeah. you know you do that and then it's like what um the snake told if you know when you eat the apple mm. your eyes will okay. be clear and okay. you see what god sees mm -hmm. it's the same thing it's the same concept when you wash your face with water Overnight water from the fufu mortar, mm. you would see what me and Yayura cannot see. <laughs> so somebody should go and try. But you know, I was really scared. Mm. There were so many times I wanted to try. Hey, me, I won't try. But then. I was so Not scared. I was like, what if I see these things I don't want no, to no, see? No, 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 no. I won't try that. <laughs> Please, somebody let Brace. me know in the comment yeah. section. Someone with balls. The you actual signs behind that. I don't know why they say that. Like, I really doesn't make sense. It's be the end of our video. Thank you, Yaira, for gracing my Thank channel you. and for scoring three over eight. I think. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. So, guys, please go and support Yaira on her channel. Make sure you're checking out her videos. Please subscribe to her channel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also. Until the next video, take care and remember, life is short, you got to live your truth. That's it. Bye. Bye. Oh. Okay. okay. It's a wrap for me.